position. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Key Anna James and JC Jane. And their opponents, the team of Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. The WWE Universe wanted it. The women deserved it. A legacy continues to grow tonight. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are up for grabs. It's all about the women's tag titles. And Byron, what have you heard from the champions? Wait, wait, wait. You're asking Saxton that question? You do realize that none of the female superstars talk to Byron, let alone two of them. Uh, hey, I hear things. Maybe not directly, but I hear them. And from my opinion, the champions are coming into this match possibly underestimating their competition just a little bit. And that was going for a pin for the championship. And the champion avoids the two count. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Reversal, what a counter. Left by the turnbuckles. Uh-oh, face full of turnbuckle. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. In the corner. Our champion is doing everything possible to make sure their opponent can't stand up. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, on the throat in the corner. A huge show of disrespect by the challenger, and the ire of the champ has to be raised. Big slam. What is Baszler looking to do here? Trap it. Oh, oh. Cover by the champ. She gets a quick kick out there. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Strong punch to the midsection. Clubbing blow to the back. Bash with a punch to the gut. She gets the tag. Punch! And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for her client. And gets tossed back into the mat. From behind, back suplex. Right to the knee. Uh-oh, half and half suplex, lights out. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. Driving the face down. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Right to the spine. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Goodness gracious. I love the champion's mindset here. Nothing fancy, just trying to deal out as much damage as possible. Ooh. 
Has the challenger pinned? Is this it? Raising the arm before one. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. The Queen of Spades showing her power. Yokosuka Cutter. Jaycee's in big jeopardy here. Quick thinking from Jaycee. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Comes in off the tag. Again. Ooh, what a forearm club. Double wrist lock. Kamigoye. Ooh, oh, an apron slap. Disrespectful. The champ now absorbing a little damage. JC not backing down at all. Being carried around with ease. Oh, put down, face first. And she'll make the tag. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. She wants her. JC Chain connects with a boot. We can have a new champion. The cover. And we have new tag team champions. Here are your winners. Katie, Anna, James, and JC Chain. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Maybe a little hyperbolic, but these two performed like they're born to be a tag team. If they stay together, watch out. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Nigeria in WWE. And his opponents, first from Apple Valley, Minnesota, weighing in. Preparing, just brace for impact. And from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds. A triple threat match underway with the opening bell. One more superstar to account for. One more eye to have in the back of your head. Any strategy you might have had going into this match, it's time to throw it out the window. Bad predicament right here. Snake! The sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to go night-night. Sleeper hold locked in. He's got a... Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh, my goodness. Not for long. Smash! That is just insulting. Right to the face! My God. Up into a fireman's carry position. Uh, fireman's carry into rolling hills. <coughs> you know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through it. Others want to inflict as much damage as possible, and some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. Nasty-looking inverted suplex. And will this be it? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Ball uppercut. That knocked his 
silly. This match grinded him down a little. Ooh. Nice takedown. Headbutt to the back of the neck. What a chancery. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. And what's he looking for here? Oh, boy, come on. Not the chair. Cranking the head. Close line. So effective. Big forearm. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Oh, I needed a job. Repeated elbows to the lower back. Getting set up for something in the corner. This one is headed outside, guys. He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. And he goes for the pin. Lights out. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Tough position to be caught in here. No, so cold. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. Up on their shoulders, electric chair. Oh, my God, a German suplex. And he breaks up the count. Setting up for something here. Oh, ran face first. And that was obviously not hard. Shoulders down. Kicks out after one. Not quite enough to put him away. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Same, sit out. Oh, Up into a fireman's carry position. A uh, fireman's carry into rolling hills. A show of disrespect from Kemp. Vicious right forearm. And Omas Capital. Hoisted up. Omas with a ring shaking spine buster. Is it nice enough to overcome Kemp? He kicks out with force. How did he do that? And Omas is as surprised as we are. He clearly didn't expect anybody to kick out of that. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. Whatever's playing here can't be good. to the two count. Got him set up in the corner of the ring, and they just busted out an impactful maneuver. What are they going to do here? Oh, look at the power. Look at the strength. Spare! And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. He was waiting for him to make his move. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. And the pressure on Omas continues to mount. Omas has to weather a storm here. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. This match's brutality starting to show on him. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. <laughs> Toss 
back into the ring. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. And that's a nasty gash on the face of Omos now, guys. Half Nelson applied. Neckbreaker! It's all Kemp's for the taking. And he's able to reverse. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire right now. I can barely hear you, Byron. I'm loving this. And now thrown back into the ring. Devastating elbow. Shoots the half. Neck breaker. Is there any life left in Omar? And that's it. Damon is your winner. Here is your winner. As exciting a triple threat match as we've had here in WWE in recent memory. This is the kind of action you get when you put three hungry competitors in a match against one another, forcing them to battle for supremacy. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. And from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at the kid of WWE. And from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 100 pence. Size of Sangha. And we're presenting in the chair from India. To be feared. And we're presenting in the chair from Uttar Pradesh. And at a combined weight of 620 pounds. Both teams facing off in this Tornado Tag match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team. Dishing out a suplex. From the middle rope, high angle belly and back suplex. Here's the cover, and the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. And he's taking this to the outside now. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Run. He's got his head no stick. Oh, kendo stick right to the head. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. He thinks he has it. And it's Apollo. He breaks the pin. Up they go! That'll jam your tailbone. Oh, an overhand chop. And what a push. Oh, God. Brutal chop block. The tried and true method to taking anyone down. Body block. Wrapping the arm over that top rope, attacking the arm. Focusing on the body part, picking it apart. The arms is going to replace the focus as any. Lee took his foot off the gas and paid for it. It's like an SUV falling on you. It wasn't the height or distance that won the middle rope. And then back to Mahan. Great wherewithal on the counter. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta pause it a 
for two tells me the end is not near. Overhand jump. And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. Let's just run them away. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move with a moonsault.
teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off. Carrying Cross. And introducing the challenger. We're presenting in the chair. Mark Coffey. Mark Coffey is the epitome of brute strength and uses that to mark his territory. And introducing the champion, we're presenting Gallus. The NXT North American title hanging in the balance here. The NXT North American champion is at risk of losing his title in this triple threat match with Karrion Cross, Jinder Mahal, and Mark Coffey. The mind of the champion must be going a mile a minute, wondering what's the best strategy in this situation. If you're the champ, you need to make an alliance of some sort. Does you no favors if you're the main focus in this match. You want to make it a one-on-one -on -one and make sure that you're not the odd competitor out. There he goes, right into the corner. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Huge elevation on the backdrop. Cover by the challenger! No, he kicks out. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Oh, flapjack! Gosh, landing face first. Big knee to the midsection. to do next. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. And that has to put some fear into the champ, seeing the kind of power their challenger possesses. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Oh, on, easy. A complete lack of sportsmanship for the challenger there. Oh! Ooh. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Crank in the head. In an overbearing amount of offense, Champ's got the pen to retain. In a kick out. Not even close to down and out at this point. Jinder Mahal looking to intimidate his opponent. Looking wobbly in the corner. Into the ring now. Oh, hold on, is he thinking of the submission here? The heel hooks in. And he breaks the submission. Vicious right forearm. The challenger's looking shaken. Looking for something, anything under the ring. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Good night. Oh my gosh! And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. One after another. Just never had a chance to block any of those. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He's looking to unlock. Darian Cross. Jinder Mahal with a drop toe. Looking to put this one away. 
Camel clutch locked in. Ah, oh, this one should have been over, but he breaks the hole. Close line. Oh, kick right to the back. Double axe handle. Carry and cross. Shifted and the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Oh man, with a championship on the line, and he kicks out of the pen in one. Not quite enough to put him away, evading offense. Oh, double boots, double DDT. The challenger is not in a great place. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. This one is headed outside, guys. Ooh. Oh, no, not with the back. Home run. Got to find a way to get out of this. Don't do this. Don't do it. Spine-shattering. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Boom! Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh my god, that's gotta hurt. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Oh, baby, that came in with some high heat. Ah, oh, face first off the post. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Looks like he knows that he who laughs last is the one with the sledgehammer. Ooh, sledgehammer to the body. This is not for the faint of heart. Boom. Boom. One wicked attack after another. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. And he tosses him back in now. He's taking this to the floor now. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. The challenger not looking good right now. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Double underhook suplex. with the wherewithal to avoid that. We are seeing the will to win from these men. Not an ounce of quit in them. The struggle to gain power has switched hands multiple times. It's been a seesaw battle at times. Oh, ouch! And now thrown back into the ring. back in the ring. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh! 
Let him have this moment. He's earned it. What in the world? That's a hammer. You can't just throw a hammer. That time. A pin drop. And he's taking this to the outside now. Taking this to the floor. He's able to fend off the attack. Reversal on Mahal. Oh, a sledgehammer to the midsection will knock the wind out of you. Listen to this place. He evades their offense. Jinder has set his sights on his opponent now. Slides him back to the mat. Oh, Coffee in control. Now that is why they're the champ. Terry and Cross looking to deliver with the final prayer. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Jinder Mahal with a drop toe hold, looking to put this one away. Camel clutch locked in. Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence? Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Uh-oh. And Cross fends him off. He's stuck now. German suplex. Look out. He goes home with the gold tonight. A great blend of tenacity and physical skill brings home the gold. Winning a championship in WWE is no small feat. Paid their dues and now reaping success. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship! And at a combined weight of 488 pounds, the You win these, you make a case as one of the best teams ever. Here we go, all set to see the D'Angelo family firm tighten their grip on the WWE Tag Team Division. Yeah, Corbett, the harder you grip, the easier it is for things to slip through your fingers. 
There are a lot of teams hoping to knock Tony D and Stacks off their game and take control for themselves. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and family needs to be... And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Oh, he got in there. Good save. Netbreaker! A bear hug squeezing the breath out of him. The bear hug cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Stacks fights back. Oh my god, a close line. Oh. Ripping and tearing at the face. That's not right. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. This is the only time anyone gets excited about garbage when a steel trash can gets involved with a fight. The champ is used to flying first class and that wasn't it. A powerful suplex toss. Oh. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Thrown back in under the ropes. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Ooh, just relentless. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Brood Byron. Here it comes. Fisherman suplex. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. Boom. Before the fist drops on your face. Exploder suplex. Up and down. Get arrow. Incredible. What a clothesline. Ouch. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. Whip back into the ring. Lands the trash can. That'll leave a mark. Back straight into the post on the outside. Oh, man. Look at the control on a suplex. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurt someone like that. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And an elbow. A good buster. And Rude is really fired up. The champ not looking great right now. Part of the territory when you're in an extreme rules match, Cole. And now gets tossed into the ring. Quick take down there. Oh. He is looking to do some serious harm. Taking this to the floor. And that was a well-executed attack. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Ooh, sharp elbow. Lots of emotions in the ring right now. There's a score to be settled here. I'm not so sure things can be settled in a single match where these superstars are concerned. Yeah, things have only gone from bad to worse between them. Falcon Arrow suplex. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Fishing for something beneath the ring. I can already feel the sting of the Kendall stick, and I do not care for it. Tony D'Angelo hyping up the crowd. The challenger not looking good right now. You ask for extreme, you get extreme. Though this looks like a little more than was bargained for. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. Ooh, well measured. Just breaking down the opponent. into the ring from the floor now. Dropped with a suplex. Oh my gosh! He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. 
And it must be garbage day because out comes the can. He's turning the tables. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, the champ looking worn out. In order to succeed in an Extreme Rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. And gets tossed back into the mat. Able to interrupt the attack. Teen off. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. What's he open to find down there? The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Oh, oh neck breaker. Compromised position here. No, 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 no. Power out of the apron. They are deep into this match, and you have to think that their stamina is running out. Yeah, at this point in the match, it starts to feel like you're fighting in mud. Ah, uh, takedown, and now punches right. Man. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Mm. Measured knee drop. Kendo stick impact. And he clearly knows that as long as he has the kendo stick, he has the power here. Boom. <laughs> he fends off the attack. Looking for something, anything under the ring. He's got a sledgehammer, and you better believe his opponent's name is all over it. And now thrown back into the ring. The champion with a quick shoulder up. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left. Rich Holland. Northern gripped by Rich Holland. Good to see a new champ. There's two. Yes, they did it. New tag team champs. Here are your winners. The team of Robert Roode and Rich Holland. Unable to finish the job, the D'Angelo family will go home in defeat. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.